And hi, once again, everyone. I'm meteorologist Sean Sublett from the Richmond Times-Dispatch. Continue to watch the next wave of flooding thunderstorms moving into metropolitan Richmond, already on top of Chesterfield County as they've moved in from Goochland, Powhatan, and Amelia over the past 15 to 20 minutes or so. To get your bearings, Richmond's right there in the middle of the screen. You can see the little flashes representing the lightning. And, and just to get help you get your bearings here, uh, those flashes show up every five minutes and they go away. So each new flash is happening within about five minutes or so. Uh, the heaviest of rains, of course, showing up in the reds, oranges, and then yellows, and ultimately backing off uh, into the shades of green. So the heaviest wave now pushing through western parts of the metro area, uh, anywhere from Glen Allen extending all the way down almost to Chester. Uh, but Brandon Mill uh, extending out to Wood Lake, Short Pump now really starting, is now really genuinely in the thick of it. Uh, and these places on the east side of town, which had a little bit of a break toward Mechanicsville, Sandston, going to see it pick up very shortly here within the next 15, perhaps 20 minutes or so. Uh, everything is starting to move a little more quickly than it was just about an hour, hour and a half ago. But there's already been phenomenal amounts of rain, which has led to flash flooding. Already reports of several road closures uh, through parts of Chesterfield County from the city limits to about Bonaire, Elkhart Road closed. Several roads closed uh, up in the city limits as well in downtown and also within the last half an hour in parts of 360 uh, near 288 Bailey Bridge Road. Also some closures taking place there because there has been just so much rain that has come down since about 3, 3.30 this afternoon. So let's go through this and, and see how it's playing out. First of all, let's back up. All areas under flash flood watch until midnight. That means conditions are favorable for flash flooding. Not a shock. This came out several hours ago, but this does speak to the fact that the threat does go on more than just another half hour, 60 minutes or so. Even after the rain is done, it's going to take a good another 30 or 60 minutes for all that water to run off into streams and creeks and ultimately peak before it begins to settle back down uh, later on into the night. So, all those areas, again, Richmond extending up to the northern neck and almost to Fredericksburg are under that watch until midnight. There are still active warnings out there. Uh, let's break this down as well. That area you see in yellow is still under severe thunderstorm warning for the, the worst conditions. There are some strong winds. We have had a few trees down in the metro area, uh, anywhere from Goochland to Powhatan to Chesterfield and into the city limits, western parts of Henrico as well. Just got word. And you saw it just as I did. Uh, the warning expired. They went ahead and canceled. I say they. Uh, those are our colleagues at the National Weather Service office in Blacksburg. The the wind element of that cell has weakened. Uh, and uh, the, the threat for hail is pretty much gone. But these other locations are still under the flash flood warning you see in green. So this is Chesterfield County and the city of Richmond itself. Let's go in a little bit and show you what, what we're talking about more specifically. Zooming around. So this is the area in particular that's under the flash flood warning. So you're looking at basically all of the city of Richmond and then most of Chesterfield County from about Centralia, uh, the courthouse, Brander Mill, and then going north or to Midlothian and all the way up uh, toward the Powhatan County line. Those are the areas that have seen the heaviest rain. Uh, and they're still going to get another spell of rain pushing through right now. Second area uh, that's under the warning is up here uh, in Goochland County. Uh, but let's go back and, and show you what we what's already happened in a lot of locations. This is a six-hour rainfall. This is radar-derived rainfall to give you an idea of how much rain has fallen over such a short amount of time. And yeah, this is a six-hour six rainfall, but it didn't start raining until 3, 3.30. So go in here and give you some idea. So here's this right here. There's 360. There's Hull Street Road. There's the city limits right here. So... You know, you're thinking about Turner Road, you're thinking about Manchester, you're heading down here to 288. And this is the area right here. More than three inches of rain has fallen uh, within the past two or three hours or so. And that's that's part of the reason for the flooding. This is why we've seen the road closures there uh, up and down Route 360 uh, over the last one to two hours or so. And there's been heavy rain here in Midlothian also. We'll pull that cursor up and show you the, the ideas out here as well. You know, another 3.4 inches there. And we'll just cut a 2.9 in Midlothian there. 
go back to the city, the amounts are a little bit lower, 1.9, but that's still a lot of rain to come down in just a couple of hours or so. Flash flood warning also just came out to not away because the heavy rain is still upstream. Uh, but this really is the area that we continue to be concerned about for the next hour and a half, two, two and a half hours. So Poway Parkway, um, 360, you know, 288 going up toward the, the Powhatan County line, actual Midlothian, you know, the town of Midlothian and going closer in toward Robius, Powhatan, um, excuse me, Huguenot, uh, these areas. So if you're in these areas, you haven't gone out and you're like, man, can I go out? No, just, just don't. Just unless you got to just don't. It's a real mess out there right now. You don't want to have to deal with this. If you've done someplace you've got to go out here in Western Chesterfield, don't do it. Just don't do it. Um, it'll be better in the morning. It'll clearly be better in the morning. There's no because the other thing is that not only you have water, but there's stuff in that water that rushes around, sticks, twigs, branches, stuff, beavers, whatever. There's all kind of stuff in that water. You don't have to deal with it. Uh, so please be careful and stay at home if you're if you're in these areas. So again, uh, to give you an idea, if you've just joined us, three and a half, three three and a half inches of rain here in this part of Chesterfield County. Um, near the Poway Parkway, near Chippenham Parkway, near 288, away from Chesterfield Courthouse and north. Not so much in Chester itself, but these areas from the courthouse. You know, Route 10, Centralia, those locations, Salem Church, those are the areas that uh, that most concerned about here in the coming few hours that are continuing to get rain. Not to say that there's not rain in other places, because there certainly is. Zooming out up here toward Mechanicsville, uh, Hanover County and extending back uh, here, not all the way to Tabahannock, but in, in parts of Hanover County along 360, same situation there. Okay, so this is how it should play out in the coming few hours or so. And this is why the this watch goes until midnight tonight, uh, even though the warning expires at 8 p.m. Remember, the warning means it's on top of you. The watch means conditions continue to be favorable for redevelopment later on into the night. So the radar projections by 7.30, about an hour from now, it does show that a lot of the heavier stuff has begun to shift south and east of, uh, of Petersburg in the Appomattox River. So down uh, into Dinwiddie, uh, Prince George County, and ultimately toward the Northern Neck and Middle Peninsula. So it does start to really wind down, getting closer to 8.30 or 9 o'clock. You do see the stuff there farther out toward the west, Farmville up to Charlottesville. That's probably not going to make it. To Richmond, it's really these next 60 to 90 minutes that are most critical, where we'll get most of the most of the rain. Uh, then things will begin to tone down for the night. But again, even after the rain's done, it's going to take an hour or two for all that rain to, to finish draining into streams, creeks, roads, and things do begin to tone down. So you see, after midnight, everything is quieted down. So really, next one, one and a half, two hours is where it's going to be most critical for flooding, uh, and then things will tone down for the night. But if you can help it, don't go out in the stuff. Uh, especially now that it's going to be getting dark in another hour or so, and it's even harder to see where the water is actually flowing. All right, so already several roads closed through parts of 360, uh, down near 288, Elkhart Road, some other areas near Bonaire, also some areas in the city limits themselves. So don't be surprised if you're going to head out there and go, oh, look, the road's closed. Yeah, road's closed. It's rained three inches in three hours. It's going gonna, it's gonna to close some roads. Through about 8, 9 p.m. is when there still will be some storms, but the waters may rise in some locations through midnight. If you're in an apartment complex, if you're in a, in a neighborhood where you've got a little stream running through, and normally that stream is pretty quiet, keep an eye on it. Uh, if it's close to the house, if it's close to the apartment, because you might want to get out of there for a while. It's going to be close. We'll, we'll see how things go. And we can't predict every single solitary creek, um, but, you know, Falling Creek, Swift Creek, uh, Powhite Creek, um, Pocashock Creek. These are the ones you got to keep an eye on here over the next one, two, three hours or so before things tone down for the rest of the night. All right. So let's go back. There we go to the radar. Again, this is one hour's worth of radar. So some of the heaviest rain is right over top of the city limits in western Chesterfield County and the west end in Henrico County up towards Staples Mill, Glen Allen, uh, Wyndham right now. And that's going to be heading into Hanover County. Uh, very promptly, if not already. But one thing we can say is we, we zoom back out. Once this particular wave goes through, and again, it's going to take the better part of 60 or 90 minutes to go through, then things will begin to tone down. Th this stuff you see right here, that really, those 
darker colors from Nottaway, Amelia, extending down into Dinwiddie, uh, Goochland, and Powhatan. That still has to work its way across Metro Richmond. Let's see, it's 6.40 now, 7.30 or 8 o'clock. This other stuff farther upstream, out toward Lovingston, Lynchburg, uh, Appomattox, uh, Buckingham. The, these areas, it's going to start to tone down uh, even earlier. So we're not too worried about what's coming later on the night. The big stuff is really uh, in the shorter term. There's heavier rain out toward the Blue Ridge, uh, but we think even there, things are going to tone down in the coming one to two hours. So just watch for the rising streams and creeks. Don't drive into areas where, where water covers the road because you don't know if there's really that much road there beneath that water, especially if it's in the middle of the night. The flash flood watch does go until midnight. The warning for Richmond goes until 8 p.m., but the water is going to be high probably through about 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. And again, first thing tomorrow morning, things will be quiet. There are some trees down here or there. There's going to be cleanup that needs to be done. And again, by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, the rain will have long since gone and the waters will start to recede. So that's it for, uh, from us here from uh, the Brandenburg Woods A1 Weather Minute here. Sean Subwood from the uh, Richmond Times Dispatch. Stay safe out there. Stay off the roads unless you have to go out there uh, until this rain really winds down. You don't want to go around some curve and, oh, look, the road's washed out or, or the road's closed. You don't want to be surprised. So just be careful out there, especially once the sun goes down. Otherwise, have a safe weekend. It's going to be in the 90s both days this weekend, and we don't really see a good chance of these showers and storms returning. Maybe tomorrow, but not to the extent of today. Um, but again, it's going to feel like August out there this weekend. Humidity's up and highs in the 90s. Stay safe, everyone. Have a good weekend, and we'll talk to everybody next week.